Hey there, tech adventurers. Let's talk Linux, because if you've ever Googled best Linux distro, you've probably been buried under an avalanche of options. Well, don't worry. I'm here to break it all down for you, from Ubuntu to Arch, Fedora to Debian. We're going to cover what makes each one unique, and by the end, hopefully, you'll know exactly which one fits your vibe. Let's start with the big three. Think of Linux distros as families, each with its own set of unique quirks. At the top of the family tree, you have parent distro, Debian, Red Hat, Arch. These guys, they are like the blueprint for most other distros. Everything else, it's usually a spin, a remix, or a flattering compliment to these originals. Debian is a granddaddy, stable, reliable, and a bit old school, but then you got its rebellious kids. Like Ubuntu, for example, it's a user-friendly one, so it's like perfect for beginners. If Linux had a mascot that smiled too much, I think it would be Ubuntu. Then there's Linux Mint, basically Ubuntu after makeover, cinnamon desktop, familiar windows -y vibes, and zero stress. And, of course, Pop! OS, geared for gamers, creators, and tinkerers. System76 made it sleek and powerful. Bonus points for its tiling window management. Be sure to check out the Cosmic Desktop environment while you're checking this distro out. These are your go-tos if you want something stable but modern. Next up, we got the Red Hat family. If Debian is the grandpa, then Red Hat is the tech CEO. Its offspring are geared towards enterprise and cutting edge tech. There is Red Hat Enterprise Linux, aka RHEL. It's a solid paid option for businesses. Of course, Fedora is the beta tester sibling. It's basically got bleeding edge software, Wayland support, and it's great for devs who like to live on the edge. Who can forget CentOS Stream, the middle child now focused on the future of Red Hat, less stable than the old school CentOS, but very forward thinking. Red Hat flavors are perfect for working in IT or cloud environments. Now the cool kids on the block, Arch-based distros. Arch is DIY Linux, right? You install it and it feels like putting IKEA furniture together. If ikea forgot the instructions but hey you get total control manjaro they say it's arch for the rest of us or arch done right there is a user-friendly installer pre-installed software less headaches but the purists like me will make fun of you relentlessly if you use manjaro and then there is Endeavor OS. It's like Arch, but with a helpful installer to skip the really painful bits. Not that there are really any painful parts, but whatever. There's also Arco Linux. This is probably my favorite Arch-based distro with every window manager you can think of. Did I miss your favorite Arch-based distro? No respect intended. And just that if I mentioned every Arch or Debian based distro, we'd be here for a very long time. And I think I'd just fall asleep trying to make that video. Arch based distros are all about customization and rolling updates, which means you get the latest and greatest software at your own risk. Then you got the minimalists, Linux that skips the bloat and unnecessary frills. We have Boyd Linux, a totally independent distro, lightweight, Musil instead of glibc, and a rolling release. Then we have Alpine Linux. It's tiny, fast, and often used in containers. Think Docker or Podman, for example. And who could forget Antix? Lightweight and old hardware friendly. It's a savior for that dusty old laptop in your closet. And of course, we have Artix and Dev1 other lightweight system d free distros minimalist distros are all about efficiency no bloat no nonsense finally the outliers and niche picks first we have OpenSUSE. they say it's great for sys admins like myself you can choose between leap which is a stable version or tumbleweed which is a rolling release plus 
Yast makes system management very easily. Personally, I prefer Ubuntu, Debian, or Fedora for those needs if you are asking me as a developer. Then we got Crux, Gentoo, and Slackware. Do you want to compile everything from source? These are the distros you will want to check out. It's not for the faint of heart, but if you like control, you'll love it as long as you're not in a romantic relationship. Seriously. If you want to get laid anytime this century, maybe try something else. Next we have Kali Linux. And this is built for ethical hackers and security pros. It's not for casual use unless you're scaring your neighbors with Wi-Fi audits. And then we have Black Arch for those who like basically the same thing. If you like all the tools that Kali Linux has and want them on something Arch based and you want those tools on steroids, maybe check this one out. Then we got AV Linux. Like to create your own music? You might want to check this distro out. This distro comes loaded with music recording software of all kinds. And of course, who could forget Solus? It's a very independent distro built for modern computers and laptops, and it's very fast and efficient. So how do you choose? Well, ask yourself, are you a beginner? Maybe go Debian based like Ubuntu or Mint. Love cutting edge tech? Well, why not try Arch Fedora or Solus? Do you need something lightweight? Well, check out the Antiax or maybe Void. Do you want to go hardcore? Gentoo or Slackware will test your patience and your ego. Even more hardcore? While well, you can live in your grandma's basement and try LFS, Linux from scratch. I just got a question. Do men usually have girlfriends if they live in their grandma's basement? Remember, the best distro is the one that works for you. That's it for this crash course on Linux distros. If you're still overwhelmed, well, don't worry about it. Just pick one and start tinkering. The beauty of Linux is that you can always switch. Hence the distro hopping trend. Drop a comment below about your favorite distro. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Linux content. See you next time, nerds. To all the incels who still live with their mom and can't get laid, you don't have to listen to the Tate Brothers. You could just install Arch Linux and tell everybody about it.